Hi, I'm Gary Rabine. As an entrepreneur in Illinois, I've lived the American dream. Soon after graduating high school, I became a small business entrepreneur, and since then have started 25 small businesses in the last 39 years, all in Illinois. Our 10 small businesses today serve customers across America with paving, doors, docks, roofing maintenance, pipe televising, snow removal, and property assessment technology. All of our businesses are S-Corps or LLCs. Like most small businesses, we pay income taxes at the highest individual rates. I've been a leader in many organizations that promote job creation with thousands of other great business leaders. Up to 2007, I saw no interest in small business leaders wanting to take their businesses and jobs outside Illinois. Unfortunately, in 2020, many of those businesses have moved from Illinois, are planning their exit, or are waiting for the last straw, which will be our governor Pritzker's progressive income tax. The lost tax revenues from lost businesses will equal more than the 3.5 billion Governor Pritzker thinks he's gonna raise. Over the last few years, Illinois has surpassed all states, even California, as the highest cumulative taxing state in the country. This makes creating jobs and operating businesses already the riskiest in America. Just ask you all, more jobs and people per capita have left Illinois than any other state. At Rabine Companies, we have about 350 awesome teammates. I worry about how we'll be able to pay them and compete with our national competition in states with low or no state income taxes. If the Pritzker Progressive Tax Day is on the ballot, watch out. I joined the Illinois Business Alliance in asking the tax to be removed from the ballot. Instead, the politicians in Springfield doubled down on this bad policy. This week, they introduced the ballot language that attempts to spin this tax hike as a positive thing. The politicians are again asking you to trust them. These are the same people who have broken every tax hike promise they've ever made. You see, what you're being asked to do this November is monumental. It's not only about one tax change, this is about changing the Illinois Constitution. The weight of the vote and the shift of power that could result is hugely important. Going from a flat tax to a progressive tax will allow lawmakers to change the tax brackets anytime they want. It'd be like handing lawmakers a blank check. 100,000 small businesses like mine in Illinois will have a tough enough time as it is staying open after the COVID challenge. If this passes, their odds of survival get even more bleak. About 50% of all jobs in America are in small businesses like these. With the highest cumulative tax in America, Illinois is already making it super tough for small businesses to experience the American dream as I have. Don't let them make it impossible. Get involved and fight for Illinois jobs. Sign the petition on the Illinois Opportunity Project website. That's the Illinois Opportunity Project website. Step up and volunteer. Let's defeat the Pritzker Progressive Tax together. Thank you.